Good morning, everybody, and welcome into this very first stream of the day. We haven't had any other streams. This is the very first stream. Uh, nothing to be alarmed about. You may have been in a dream and thought that I was streaming before, but I wasn't. This is brand new. Ah... Uh, uh, oh, hold on, what's going on here, boys? Oh, there we go, I can hear it now. I can hear it. So, I'd like to welcome you all in. I hope you're having a very, very good day. No one's on the stream at this stage. Uh, hopefully this will work. New stream up. There we go. Continue in normal mode, boys. There we go. It's working perfectly. Absolutely perfectly, everybody. All right. Checking for updates. That's always a good thing. What an absolutely tremendous stream today. Oh, hold on. Here we go. We're in. We are in. We've got no music. We've got nothing. Okay. Um... Oh, I know. It's been a while, Alan. Good morning. Good to see you. Yeah, going for a like if you record. <laughs> the stream is crashing more than you do in the sim. Come on, not that much. So today, everybody. Welcome in for the first time today, by the way. It's good to see you all. <laughs> Far out. What a bloody shocker, boys. Absolute shocker. Okay, what we're going to do here, boys. We're just going to uh, load ourselves up. And get ourselves absolutely sorted for the first time today. Is this the later stream or the earlier one? <laughs> I'm just going to replay it over and over again. Oh... I don't know. This, I think this is sort of flight summing at its best where every, nothing goes right. Space Peppy, how you going? Good to see you. Welcome on in. Very first stream of the day, this one, by the way. We didn't have five other ones. That's what you're thinking. Three streams. You can't even start on the runway as it will screw up your APL too. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. No, I'll, uh, we'll whack through this real quick. It's real. It's all good. Apologies for uh, this, everybody. I'd like to blame Alan. I think you'll all agree with that. I think you all agree. So thank you, Alan, for taking the blame. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. Right, I'm going to have to... Um, Colin, how you doing? You ever say good morning five times? It gets confusing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloody hell, boys. I have to go and install EGLL, standard EGLL. Oh, Three or four. This is the fifth stream, by the way. So, you know, hey. You say you don't have enough streams? Look at this. Five in a day. That's bloody commitment right there, everybody. Absolute commitment. Right. My missus blamed me for cheating on her in a dream she had last week. So this is bloody nothing. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, look. Oh, this is new. Oh, no. Hold on. I know no. we're going here. We want to go into profile. Let's go into content manager. Let's go into this and let's go here and go download and boom. Shouldn't take too long. Done. Right, okay. Uh, okay, welcome. Let's go here. Boom. Boom. Uh, 153 sounds good. Uh, let's go ahead and park here and all right this is the very first flight of the day everybody welcome in <laughs> yeah if this crashes we all need to chip in to buy mason new monitor <laughs> gonna hold over view says ronald hope i have enough fuel less as my blue hydraulics failures causes unreliable fuel prediction she'll be right mate if in doubt you know the old story if in doubt just just risk it all right, guys, I think it's going to work this time. If it doesn't, blame Alan. 
Uh, right, bang this here. We'll go like this here. I'll just update my overlay, everybody. Just wanted to hold off on that. Uh, EGLL, EGLL, LGSS, and BAW is 722. Boom. Oh. What is it? LSGG is probably the best, better way to go. We'll bang that over there, boys. Let's go into here. All right. Let's just jump outside. Okay. All right. All good. Let's do it, boys. Right. This is going to be quick and dirty. External power on. Batteries on. Electric pump on. This is going down here. Crew supply strobe. Not beacon. Uh, nav and logo can. Seat belts. Snow smoking. Emergency exit. Master switch. One, two, three. Bumper. Nav one, nav two, nav three. Looks good to me. Let's get across here. Let's throw this on here. Fun fact, Ronald is actually an, an anagram of failure in Dutch. <laughs> oh. Love it. Okay, let's load our sim brief plan, everybody. It's going to tell us that um, we're way off in terms of time. That's fine. I'm going to change the time. Okay, let's change this to 14.15. Update. Uh, 13, 15. Hold on. There we go. That's better. Okay, mass and balance. Load aircraft. I'm getting deja vu here, everybody. In it. It's good, isn't it? I'm getting my landing rate guessing early. I'm saying frozen or crash to desktop. <laughs> Oh, what a shocker, everybody. B A W 722. Here we go. We'll put a flight number in there. We know it's 15 and we know it's 350. Beautiful. Let's make sure we get this sorted on our APL while we're thinking about it. Let's go IRS in it and we'll line on ref. We'll confirm that. That is absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's go into our flight plan. Shit, we, we know this one off by heart now, don't we? Uh, departure is. No, 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 back, 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 back. No, no, no. Departure. 27 right. Okay, we're taking the Maxi 1 Foxtrot. Done. LSGG. 04. ILS. Looser. Loser. That, that, that actually works out quite nicely. Loser 2 November, that's me. All right, okay. Are we still active? Yes, we are still active. Okay, let's go into init. Let's go into our init B. Okay, so what we're going to do here, everybody, is we're going to put in 61, and we're going to put in 31.2. That's our weights, etc. Block is 6.9 from memory. It is indeed. Block fuel, 6.9. Done. Easy as that. Okay. What we need to do is do our boarding complete. No mucking around here, boys. We're going to go and do our departure performance. Okay, so let's sync our load sheet. Uh, 27 right. Uh, let's do flap 1, sync live weather, and let's calculate that out. I think we'll get a pretty neutral. I know 0.2. 54 and 56. 54, 154. Boom, 154, boom, 156, boom, uh, zero, uh, hold on, uh, clear, uh, one bar, zero point two down, and here, what's our flex attempt? 65, everybody, throw that in there, boom, boom, okay, Let's just make sure we've got everything here. Checklist, done, done, done. Transition altitude is 6,000 feet. That's cool. V1, VR, and V2 is good. Okay, we'll get back up here. Let's go ahead. What's this saying? Flight control. Don't worry about that. It happens all the time. Get rid of that. Let's put this up to flight level 350. We've got to wait for our IRS, our, IR, our ADS, I should say, to align. Our IRS. IRS. Okay, let's just go through our flight plan while we're thinking about it then, just to be ultra safe. 
should be just a disc on right at the end when we do our manual turn into finals. It is indeed. It's looking good. Let's fire that back there. Okay. All right. So far, so good. We're still on, are we? Yep. Okay. Parking brake. Okay, let's do some stuff down here. Let's lock the door because there's some dodgy people on this plane. I'm going to go ahead and put that on auto. 6322 is our score code. Uh, I think we can go up here. Let's turn these uh, pumps on. And let's go ahead and start our APU. <sighs> Alright everybody. What's it like outside there? Oh yeah, nice. So good. What do we got on here? Oh yes. Oh, that's that's very good. All right. Okay, everybody. We are just about ready to take off. We're getting very close. Ah, uh, this is the very first stream of the day. Uh, we didn't have twelve other streams trying to set this bloody thing up. If that's what you're thinking. Oh, let me just sort out my control stick here. This bloody thing. Let's go ahead and clear. We don't need to worry. Oh, what's this saying here? Uh, hold on. 0.2, we'll throw that on there right now, we're thinking about. Hey boss, Josh dropping in real quick, can't stay, have COVID. No, no mate. Well, I hope you get well soon, mate. Good to see you though. Uh, just to confirm, no safety is being practiced here, so you can rest assured that, uh, as always, we're risking it for the biscuit. Colin's going to make me apologise to his passengers. Uh, but the only problem is, Colin, they might have mistaken me for someone who gives a shit. That's a bit of an issue. Anyway, apologies uh, to Colin's passengers. Not really, don't care. Okay, so I think APU will be pretty close. We've got four minutes for our IRS. APU is not available yet. And how do we know? Well, we can go in here. I've got to probably turn these bloody tags off. It is available, actually. Just as I said that, it is available. So let's go ahead. Not a, I will turn pro people on, just for a laugh. APU can go on. External power can go off. Beautiful. No safety is the best safety. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Yeah, you take care. Hopefully you get uh, over the good old spicy cough real soon. Ronald says RNAV could have an offset. It just gets you closer to the runway till the minimums. The last part you have to fly yourself and when it needs to guide you through the mountains. Yeah, yeah. Indeed. All right, everybody. Just waiting for our IRS to align. Yeah, 10 degrees is way inside tolerances. Jeez, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead while we're thinking about it and uh, go in here. Let's unplug that because I don't know why. We'll go to our ground services. We're going to get rid of the GPU and the chocks and the cones. That's good. Ah, oh, that's right, I've got to turn. Let's just quickly do uh, general options. I had nameplates turned off on my screenshot the other day. Uh, traffic, uh, uh, nameplates on. There we go. Apply and save. Go back. Terrain, 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 terrain. Resume. Yeah. <laughs> Only I could get a terrain warning while uh, it's parked at the gate. Alan with the two pound, which is about 12 million New Zealand dollars here or thereabouts. This is 50p per stream. <laughs> Alan, thank you very much, mate. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, what an absolute... Thank you, Alan. I'm going to buy eight Nespresso pods, pods with that. Oh, thanks, Alan. <laughs> I like it. All right, everybody. We're just about to push back very, very soon. <laughs> Daryl, how are you going? Good to see you. All right. Okay, we've got a few. We've got Mayday. We've got Von Rock. Terrain, what's what's? Terrain, 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 terrain. What the bloody hell's Pull going up. on? Pull up. I have no idea why that just threw off again, but good on you. Get into it. That was. Uh, <laughs> oh, that is absolutely tremendous. All right. Okay, we're just thinking about life here. Uh, uh, windows closed? Really? Do you really need to do that? No cigarette disposal? Well, where in the hell am I supposed to put my cigarettes? Okay, IRS is aligned, everybody. 
Let's do it. Thanks again, Alan. I appreciate it, mate. Thank you. Okay. Connect to Tug. Let's do it. Ah, oh, there's a little issue in the Phoenix I want to show you, see if anyone can solve it for me. I put one ton of fuel excess in and I'm now 300k below my block fuel. <laughs> it's not very straight there, boys. Okay, I think we can probably turn our... We are away, are we? Park and break off. Start. Alright. Let's go ahead. Ignition on. Engine 2. Beautiful. Yeah, are we going to get the wind up? We are indeed. That works well for us. So here's an issue. Look at this button here. Look at my ignition button when I look around. See, look at this. I hold the right mouse down. Look at that. Every time I do the right mouse button, it flicks off. Does it do that for anyone else? And how do I fix it? I've gone into key bindings. There's nothing there that suggests it should be doing that. See, look. It's so bloody annoying, to be fair. Okay, let's wait for this to spool up, everybody. Oh, I'll get those bloody... Get those bloody sounds into your voice. I've just done it, my initial doesn't move. Yeah, I know. It's weird, eh? It looks like a key binder. Are you using your alpha? No. I'm not. I'm not. But it's using my Thrustmaster um, side panel thing, side uh, stick, not side stick, you know, the throttle quadrant. Okay, I think we can go ahead and stop that right there. Disconnect the tug. We're sent at 60.2, okay, engine number one. I don't know what it is. It's obviously a conflict somewhere. It's annoying though. Okay, while that's happening, let's go ahead and put our flaps on. Spoilers are armed. Let's put our auto brake to max. Why am I still moving backwards, boys? Stop. You can hear it clicking away in the background. Bloody annoying. I wonder what it could be. So, munitions and the magnet, the only thing that it's. But it's like my mouse movement, so. Ooh, I wonder. I wonder. Let's quickly go into my controls. If it's uh, on my. Uh, on this controller at all. Uh, assigned. Mm, nah. Nah. It's on that. Okay. Getting up there. Good. All right. We're established there at 60.2. We can go ahead and turn off our APU. We can put our wing lights on. Uh, oh, shit. I'm going to get freaking penalized. I didn't have my freaking beacon on. What a bloody idiot. Any magneto bound? Oh, I'll have to check it out. And they're going to jet too. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go ahead and put our flight control. No, no, no. Where is it? Let's test these out. Make sure they're working correctly, everybody. Just for a laugh. Probably be an even bigger laugh if we uh, didn't test them. I think that's good. I, I'll do my takeoff config now. I think I'm pretty sweet with it. Yep, we are good. Let's let these guys 
All right, we're away, everybody. Um, sounds a mint in this thing. I'm, I already know I'm not going to get 100% of hardly even left. Yeah, Magneto could be the go, I reckon. I'm going to have a look, see whether some Magneto's bound somewhere. I'll check that out. Well, this has been highly successful, this one, everybody. I think we all agree. Beautiful. Like our park close to the departure runway. Have you guys run out of fuel yet, the guys that are circling above? Probably not far away. <coughs> All right. Von Roxen is Tomcat. Oh, could I take it even bloody longer way around or not? Found the thread for the switch issue, tagged you on Discord. Oh, okay, nice, thank you. You are a legend, thanks, Alan. That's why you are Chief Sponsorship Officer. That's why you retain the role even though you get no sponsorship. Yeah, of course you can fly. Yeah, you definitely can fly, definitely, mate. Just jump onto New North Europe server. Get into... Uh, Uh, Heathrow here and get into it. No problem at all. Apparently you're flying Air Arabia there, Mayday. <laughs> yeah, where the weekend is another issue, that is a fair point. Alright, let's go ahead and TRRA on here. My turn off lights. Okay. Engine mode, good. Auto brake, ground spoilers, pitch trim, good. Strobes, yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Okay. I think we're feeling emotional about the whole thing, everybody. How we're we looking on the runway here, we've got a few people lining up. You taking off Schwartz or what's the story? Wrath? I'd just go Mayday, I think Wrath is... Oh no, he's going, he's going. Relax everybody. So you got to switch it to the middle mouse button. Uh, that was a tight, uh, tight space in there, mate. Eh? Uh, I hate that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. You may or may not survive this flight, but it's been an absolute pleasure holding you at the gate for over an hour while I get my shit sorted. We're about to depart from runway 27. We're going to make our way up into the sky, then we're going to turn around and head towards our destination, well, the general direction of our destination. There might be a few, few bumps, uh, mainly when the aircraft uh, rolls over onto its side. Who's Mr. Bra123? What are you up to, mate? He's just slipping in there in a 747. That's not a problem. It's quite busy here, isn't it? 
ATC aren't doing a very good job, just quietly. <coughs> oh, flaps to take off. And what else? Take off config. Nah. Now. What? There we go, it's normal. Relax everybody. Alright, we're away, let's do it. Let's ease through. And let's bang it. Ah, there's a lot of noises and buzzes and lights going off in the cockpit, but that's completely normal. We'll stay approximately on the centre line. There or thereabouts. 100 knots. That's good. I'm getting a bit wobbly on it here. Doesn't matter. It won't be a problem. Going quite fast now. I'm getting a bit scared. This could tip over. B1. Let's rotate. Whoa. Jeez. That's a bit hairy. Get up here, boys. Lazy mode. Engaged. Spoilers off. Absolutely tremendous. I nailed it, boys. Oh, we've got twin takeoffs right here. Oh, we've got someone actually taking off from the correct runway. Not sure why they're doing that for. Cozy coal. Combined takeoff there. I like it. Side by side. Parallel. There we go. Put the lever back. Absolutely brilliant. All right. Oh, that's loud in my ears, boys. Right, we're on our way, everybody. Who would ever thought about it? Oh, have I got a asymmetry in the levers? There we go. Now we've got them right. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and just put it on all. No. Uh, all will do. And uh, so far, so good. Tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. Completely surprised I don't get any bloody approaches from airlines to fly for them. With that sort of skill right there. Nice. Okay, so it must have been the airport that was causing the issues, I think, unfortunately. So I'll do some... Uh, I'll have to do... I'll just uh, get a hold of the developers, find out maybe a fix on that. Uh, North Europe server, mate. It's up the top there, top right, although you can hardly see that writing because it's uh, covered by the white cloud, but yeah, North Europe server. I think we must be getting close to our... to, to um, transition level. Transition altitude. I may or may not get there. What's our constraint saying? Uh, 3,000, 4,000. It's got to be at least over 3,000. And then at least 6,000. Or exactly at 6,000 here, actually. I see. Makes sense. Let's go and throw our navy graph up here. Eh? Yeah, they do. They do want to test. Oh, shit. Flaps up, boys. Oh, overspeed. BFE. No. No. It's not a problem. Yeah, I forgot to frickin' retract my flaps. It's a disaster for British Airways. Kiwi Mace takes the helm. Pilots look calm, though. Pilots are looking calm. I think the British Airways uh, safety officers are taking things a little bit too seriously today. They just need to relax a bit. Shit, this is going to be a low score. Where are we flying? It's up the top there, mate up the top on the overlay okay just go ahead and put standard trans standard uh, altitude there we go transition altitude we just oh man oh, hold on no 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 
Let's go standard. So it's going to stay at 6,000 just for the next little while. It's not bad, but it's a fight off, so I have to do the walk around, which sucks. <laughs> okay, so this is a bit of a disaster all around, everybody, but it doesn't matter because that's better than usual. There goes Farnborough down there. This is a bit of a weird departure. There must be... Is this a noise thing or what? Why are they getting me to... Fly at 6,000 feet all this way. It's a bit weird. Here we go. Okay, I think we're going to start to increase now. Yep, we are indeed. That's weird. I wonder why they get us to do that. That's a, a weird... Yeah, AC will probably clear you, yeah. It's all good. We're, we're all right. We're on our way now, boys. She'll be right. Anyway, so very interesting. I've definitely... So I've lost... Uh, what have I lost marks on a pilot's life for so far? I lost was someone not having my... For not having my beacon on and then I overspeeded there for not retracting my flap so that will be a whack that will be a big whack that one that will be like 7 points I'd say so yeah real good standard pull is at flight level 1 yeah transition altitude here is 6000 though quite loud, isn't it? That's oh, beautiful. Man, this is a busy airspace around here, isn't it? A lot of people like flying around here. We've got Mayday and Alan up there. Anyway, as someone who pressed down for three weeks, what a plane the Phoenix is. Yes, mate. Yeah. Way worth, way worth, well worth it. My flight plan is taking me farther north, but still landing at LSGG. That's all good, mate. As long as you get there eventually, she'll be right. I just, I'm going to get smashed for not having my landing lights off. As we cross 10,000, I'm guessing. So the point deduction just keep coming. It's gonna be pretty bad. Don't procrastinate. Do it tomorrow. Exactly. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, fly by wire do do great work, but this is at a different level, even at 50 pound. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's bloody awesome. I think it's only USA that you 180 is a fixed transition altitude. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's different. Like in New Zealand, it's 13,000 feet. It's um, but on the chart it tells you. So if we look at our, um, if we go into to our route. Oh, hold on. We're going to Heathrow, departures. We go departure and we go to the, uh, what was it? The Maxi 1 Foxtrot. It 
should say it in here. Uh, transition altitude 6000, there you go. Right there. So yeah, 6000. That's why I did it there. Thank you, ball boys. Thank you, linesman. That's interesting. I only fly US, Central America, and the Caribbean. Learning stuff in real life. Yeah. That's it, mate. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit different for sure. We'll be in the Sid plate. Yep, that's it. I can't see you on the map. What map? Top line of the briefing box. Yep, got it. Got it. Oh, man. John's going to be disappointed that we've got all this water. And he's not here to see it. Big fan of those cross cross the pond flights. Get your name tag. Oh yeah, that happens from time to time. That can happen. It's a quirk. Beautiful. What's happening in the world, everybody? Having a look this morning, it's been a bit of a bloody all over the place morning. Um, okay. That's new, that's exciting. So, yeah. Oh, I can see people on here. I've got, I've got uh, anonymous. Uh, who have we got here? We've got Allen's on there. How's your fight going, Ronald? By the way, how many failures thus far? Uh, Harold says the pound is between Australia and New Zealand. I believe this is the channel. The pound is between Australia and New Zealand. And I believe this is the channel. I'm not too sure what you're saying, but welcome in, Harold. Good to see you. Good to see you. I think MSCVS has a limit to the number of multiplayer planes that will sink. Once you leave London, it should be better. Ah, right, I'm with you. Daryl says, I thought about going there at one point. At Nick. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, going international. Yeah, 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 that's it. Uh, two of you, which you know of. Four of didn't give any warning. Still holding. <laughs> Ronald. <laughs> Ah, uh, the pond, sorry, ah, uh, right, yes. The pond is between Australia and New Zealand. Well, depends what pond you're talking about, but yeah, if you're talking about the Tasman Sea, indeed, that's it. Yeah, this is the channel. But they call it the pond too, don't they? I don't know. I think any big body of water you can call the pond. I try every server too, I can't find you. Beta and stable are not connected. Yeah, I'm a North Europe server, definitely. So yeah, like multiplayer, it happens. It just happens. Sometimes you can see people, sometimes you can't. Ronald says, but my hydraulics are running low. I was just back to one system yellow. Luckily I could get the blue one back with the rat, but now I'm scared of pressing the button again. <laughs> oh. Twenty-four passing twenty-four thousand feet, everybody. Oh, master caution! That's that flight control stick issue. It's annoying. Right, let's have a bit of a look around in here, shall we? Oh, oh, oh we. Nice. Look, ah, these passengers look very satisfied. These are the most satisfied passengers we've ever had here at uh, Kiwi Air, or operating as British Airways today. I think we've done British Airways pretty proud. Oh, are there any snacks over here? This latch here worries me. Something tells me that this should be should be on, should be down. Shouldn't be a problem though. What do we got going on here in food? Does it say? No. I think it's about time someone made some cups of tea and coffee, though. What do you reckon? 
25,000 feet, that's good. How we're looking for distance. Uh, there we go, beautiful. Man, passenger sees this car go again. <laughs> that's it. Polizek, how you doing? Welcome in. Hope I pronounced that correctly. They've jumped out. <laughs> yeah, they've jumped out. They knew. Daryl says, if you push the seats even closer together, you can get the full front test for any life's experience. <laughs> yeah, literally no leg room. Everyone just stands on the seats. Ah. Uh, welcome on in, everybody. We finally got there in the end. It was a bit of a bloody shaky start with our eight strings to get things going, but we got there in the end. I'm going to go, and once we get up to cruise altitude, everybody, I'm going to go and refill my Nespresso, not sponsored, and uh, yeah, that'll be good. That will be brilliant. Is my name gang angry or something? Oh, it's Kiwi Mace. Kiwi Mace, Kiwi Mace 77. How long will this flight be? Uh, this flight, we've got a projected uh, landing time of uh, 14.25 UTC and at the moment, so yeah, about another 56 minutes till we land, there or thereabouts. So about another hour, about another hour this flight will take, there or thereabouts. It's quite handy this here and it's pretty accurate too, actually in the Phoenix, so that's emotional to say the least. I looked at that fix for that uh, ignition switch, Alan. It seems like a real pain in the butt, to be honest. <laughs> that depends on the hijackers. Yeah, that could be an issue. Could be an issue. You think you're behind me? Yeah, you might not be close enough, potentially. What's your uh, handle? 186 on 320, 236 on 321. There you go. Ah, oh, right. Ah, oh, Captain, where's he go? Got ya. Got ya, yep. Yeah, it seems a kerfuffle, yeah. Well, I mean, like, in that, it's, it doesn't really affect anything. This control sensitivity thing. Oops. Um, it's annoying, but it doesn't really affect anything, to be honest. It's a sensitivity on the control stick. Um, but, yeah, the thing is, it's like, for, it doesn't seem to affect the start up the ignition thing so I just don't look around too much and it means that when I'm flying other planes it's going to be a real pain so I think I'm just going to put up with it All right we're just uh, climbing through 31,000 feet ladies and gentlemen this is your captain speaking um, I only got my private pilot's license yesterday and they put me straight into the Airbus A320. Shouldn't be a problem. I've done at least 30 circuits in a Cessna 152. Pretty similar aircraft. If you reach into your seat pocket in front of you, you'll find your last will and testament, which we highly encourage you to fill out. Now we're going to bring around copious amounts of alcohol to get you through this experience, so please make sure you indulge. Uh, don't worry about using the lavatories, just uh, there's a few empty seats. In some aisles you can use those. Go away, I hate that place. If you have any questions, shut up. Uh, we don't want to hear them. And uh, just sit back, enjoy your last flight, kiss your ass goodbye. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. That's how you uh, put your passengers at ease, everybody. Not everyone has the communication skills that I have. But uh, you could learn it too one day. Oh, we're turning away somewhere, boys. I think you do deadline in the con you can set a deadline in the config. Don't do it now. Okay. Okay. Nice. So uh, the biggest difference I've found with the Phoenix is how much further you need to pull back on the stick to flare on landing. 
I had to muck around with that with their sensitivity versus the fly by wire. Yeah, I found on the ground the Phoenix is a lot more sensitive too. Dead zone. What's a deadline? I don't know. I just nodded. I just nodded and agreed with you, thinking, you know, trying to make you feel better. Yeah, I can muck around with the dead zone. Yeah, I've done it already a couple of times. It's not a major, so I'm not too worried, but yeah, I will sort that out at some stage. Okay, how are we looking here, boys? Yep, we're really revving up now, boys. What a lovely day. We're now across the uh, channel. We're on the other side. What's, what is the deadline? It's a very good question. Okay, we're heading up to 35,000 feet. It's about Nespresso time, everybody, so I'd highly recommend that uh, put some... Uh, Put a few nips of whiskey in your in your uh, in your Nespresso today. Uh, for some reason, I can't see all the name tags you have. Ah, right, yeah, that happens. There's just a bug. Uh, it's what's printed in the obituary. <laughs> Fine with Kiwi. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, you got it. The deadline is the minutes you have until you trigger another failure. <laughs> right, boys and girls, we're at uh, cruising altitude now, pretty much. So uh, I'll see you back in a couple of minutes. Go and refill your drinks. Uh, go to the toilet if you need to too. It's really up to you. I'll okay, see you in a minute.
someone forgot my headset. Uh, right, let's jump in here. What's going on? Um, all right, let's update our. Uh, Brish, let's update our total or rush through it. There we go. All right. Beautiful. Oh, well, okay, we're cruising along at 35,000 feet, everybody. We're going to have to throw our destination data in pretty soon. So, looking at our approach here, right down through here. Easy as that. So let's bring up the chart just for a laugh. Uh, no, no. No. Arrival is what I want. Here we go. The arrival chart is uh, loose. Let's show that on there. There's a star. Our approach is uh, for ILS 4. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, let's have a look at what we're doing here. Yeah, so 200 is our first. Uh, is our first uh, constraint. Hmm. Far out. It's cold here today, boys and girls. I need to plug this back in. Look at that. It's gone down to 79%. Uh, 200. So we're at cruise right now. We are indeed. So let's go ahead and just put this down to 200. It's going to be our first constraint. Let's put that back up like that. There's our top. Oh, where's our top of? Where's our top of? Descent. Ah, oh, way over there. Lovely. Mace, be aware that there is a there is a manual. Yes. Yes, I did indeed. Yes, I'm aware of that. Thanks, Ronald. I'm all over it. I'm starting my descent. See you at the airport. Sweet as. See you there. Okay, so I've starred those ones there, so how do I... Where, uh, so I go like this. So how do I actually see the ones that I've... Oh, start, there we go. Hey! Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Ah, right here. Okay, here. How come? Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, so let's just quickly look at the uh, approach chart here. Okay, so 7,000 feet. Uh, the uh, Geneva is... Oh, yeah, 7,000 feet on a... In Indus and then Balka 6000. Okay, that's cool. Uh, what's the elevation of this thing? Where's the elevation data on here? My eyes are deceiving me. Oh. Um, where is it? I'll be here. It will be right in front of me. Pick your destination, not your alternate. Okay, just for a laugh. Just for a laugh, we'll do that. Where the hell's the bloody? Where's the? Where's the elevation in this airport? Decision heights one six one one apparently. One four one one. There we go, right there. It's a bit of a bloody nightmare finding that one, the boys. Anyway, sucks to be me for a minute there. Elevation left of the MSA circle. 
let me find it there oh there it is 1411 beautiful at least you guys know what you're doing that helps okay 275 okay this is close enough let's put some destination data in going to Atsu AOC weather weather required L S G G boom send on chart yeah let's go back in here let's go back here receive messages weather data there we go zero four zero at four perf next phase next phase zero uh four zero at four q and h is um one zero two zero one zero two zero uh temperature is 24. it's a nice day here in geneva Six one one, right? One six one one. I think that's good, right? It's on the barrow for this, right? Not the radar. I assume. Close enough. She'll be right, mate. She'll be right. Don't sweat it. Apparently according to my overlay I'm at 36,000 feet, but I'm actually at 35,000 feet. So I'm not too sure what's going on there. Or am I? No, 35. My mind will be different. It's 2617, but who cares? Yeah, who cares? Close enough, it's only six feet difference. But okay, because it's a cat, uh, we can't see, so you okay. So it'll actually be. Let's just have a look at it. Let's just do some learning right here, boys. Oh yeah, can't see one six one seven. Yeah, it's all good. It's close enough. I mean, it's not that. It's not that much different. Oh yeah, A and B. Yeah, sorry, you can't see. It's good. On the barrow it was correct, right though. And it'll be like use radar if it's got RA actually in here. For example, on an R nav approach or something like that, right? Anyway, minimums. Yeah. Your labels, yeah, no, it's 36024, yeah. But as you can see, we're 35,000 feet. <laughs> anyway, it's all good, boys. Oh, that's a bloody thing. Apart from the sim silliness, I'm really impressed by how safe these planes are. Yeah. They're pretty bloody good. They're pretty good. Uh, I love the A320E cam. I just follow it and it's always fine. I'm honestly impressed by how much you can fail and still works. Yeah, I know. Uh, why does MC do you weather different from the EFB at LSGG? Um, a couple of reasons they could be pulling from different sources uh, the other reason could be that the one one or the other is saved from when you actually jumped in the aircraft that's my two this I've run out of ideas variable at two yeah I see what you're saying yeah, it's different. I assume it's pulling from the ATIS offline. If 
Phoenix A3, uh, Phoenix 320 Cash Sheep. How you doing? Welcome. Good to see you. Welcome on in. Welcome to the madness. The FBS 1017. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's different. I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's uh, pulled from different sources. I don't know. Default airport, not good gate. Not too sure what you mean by that. But I mean, 040, I mean, this is basically no wind anyway. So in this case here, it's not majorly different, but yeah, it's a good point. Yeah, to having, yeah, which one are you supposed to use? Yeah. You expect them to be the same, wouldn't you? Anyone had issues bindings uh, TM Airbus, Airbus joystick cancel master caution line? No, I haven't got a, uh, I haven't bound that on mine, so I don't have the Airbus joystick. I've got the good old uh, Extreme 3D, but no, I can't help on that one. You mean 13 minutes without a failure post? <laughs> no. Okay. Top of descents here. Uh, 218 nautical miles to destination. Yeah, I don't know why these aren't the same. It's weird, eh? It is weird. And look up the top there, AGL, let's see, it's saying it's uh, 162 nautical miles to my um, destination up the top there. But uh, that's probably in a straight line, I would imagine. Come on, Alan, amaze presser. Just once, my last two didn't give any failure message. <laughs> and if anything happens, just read the ECAM. I'm good, thanks. My, my piloting is the inbuilt failure. Let's just press all these switches. So many bloody circuit breakers, eh? <laughs> just cruising out here. Beautiful day in the sim. <coughs> Loving it. It's totally smooth sailing today. We never had one issue. Default airport, not a good must install from my MCPs like you do. I'm not too sure what your uh, the A320 series is really well. Um, the uh, default airport, not good gate. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Yeah, I'm not too sure, Kashif, what you're um, referring to there, mate. I was on BF5 by then, so maybe another time. <laughs> yes. Yes, there was a few issues there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Alan's taken full responsibility for all the issues, so thanks, Alan, for that. It was good of you. I appreciate it. Uh, Space PAP says, wow, looks like the autopilot in the F-35 has a bug. First it turned off the altitude hold and wouldn't let me turn back, turn it back, and then took me on a roller coaster ride and now ran me in the ground. I hate when that happens, mate. I hate it. 
used to happen to me all the time. Actually, I was watching I was watching back some of my first streams the other day just for a laugh, and man, that porpoise thing. That was hilarious. But yeah, it makes it easier. You don't get scared as much. <laughs> cause COVID too, just to confirm. <laughs> oh, you cause COVID too. Yeah, yeah, I know. I knew it. Okay. Nick says, I have to say these Saturday night streams are becoming the highlight of my week. <laughs> Thanks, mate. You must have a sad life. No offence. None taken, of course. I'll speak on your behalf. <laughs> oh, no, it's good. Always a bit of fun. It's never smooth sailing, is it? And to cap it on tonight, we got three. Doesn't get any better. <laughs> yeah, I deleted those other ones. <laughs> okay, we're getting close to the top of descent here, boys and girls. So I'm going to uh, look to descend pretty soon. It looks like we're, oh, we're a little way away, actually. We're 100 nautical miles away. What are we doing? We're going to... Oh, it's because the... Okay. That seems late to me, but I'm going to trust it. This was danger of becoming a Sunday morning stream. <laughs> yep. Colin says, crap, I accidentally knocked people with my cup and some seem to have frozen on the camera view. Oh, jeez. Hey, when that happens. This is, this is cool how you can save these in here. It's bloody excellent, eh? How you can view all the stuff in, in the actual... Uh, on the pad, it's bloody good. So Luzna at fly level two zero zero, then Salni at one six zero, Lurko at eight thousand above, and then we're zooming down here to Dinig, and then Kirad Max two twenty here, and then we'll have to do uh, Indus at seven thousand. But that's a manual, uh, that's a manual turn into here. So I'll just sort of go past by a couple of nauticals, then do a turn in here, and we should be good as gold. Should be absolutely bloody brilliant. I have this awesome sunset going on posted a screenshot in the Discord. Let's check it out, boys. Let's check it out. A warning there might be foul language if I show this here, just so you know. Whoops, nice, we're done. Oh, look at that. Looking good. Nice. Wow, that looks real good. What's that livery? British Airways, nice. Selling. Nice, he's in cow again. Ronald, I assume that's smoke with all your failures happening. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's looking pretty flash, boys. Mayday, he's in, uh, he's trying to go for something a bit different. Oh, nice, that looks pretty sweet. Looks like they're wearing some sort of uh, Air Force bloody helmets and stuff there. Nice work, everybody. Good to see. Fully managed. Yeah, I'm hearing you, mate. With the manual leg, set a constraint of 6,000 feet at GG503. How do I do that? That's the big question. How do I send a man oh, over the side, right? There you 
go. Beautiful. Beautiful, mate. Oh, you bloody hell. Bloody hell, Ronald. Uh, six ones. Oh, yeah, there you go. Beautiful. And then above, and then it says above seven there. It's a bit dodgy. Beautiful. Okay. Easy as that, team. We are freaking experts at flying this plane. I tell you what, I am surprised I'm not a real Airbus captain. I think everyone can see that all passengers would have full bloody confidence, wouldn't they? That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Bloody brilliant. Tell you what, this is one flight in a row that I've uh, done stuff properly, apart from all the mistakes I've made. Press a random failures, I just saved you from ending uh, too, up too high. <laughs> Anthony, how you doing? Welcome. Welcome on in. How, where was it, where was the constraint before that, mate? Ah, yeah, I see, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see, it would have had me up there at 9,100, nice. Okay, where the hell, should we do some failures? No, let's not. We're not doing it, mate. We're not doing it. We've had enough bloody excitement for one day. Had enough excitement. Ugh. This score, I'm picking that my score is going to be in the 80s for a pilot's life. <laughs> oh, I've made so many errors. <coughs> my engines could be on fire. By the looks of it, might be an issue. <laughs> Might not be. Landing comp? Yes. Let's do it. Guess my landing rate, everybody. One guess. It's just for personal pride. Put your guesses in now. It's going to be a really good promise. You've, you've seen through my flying skill that you can have absolute confidence. PVAT is 6.3. Absolute confidence that my landing rate's going to be mint. Oh, look at this. There's some good landing rates in there. All right, let's go ahead and commence our descent, everybody. Manage descent. Oh, 280. Oh, Joe's going up 280. Nick's 158. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. Some interesting landing rates in there, boys. Thirty seconds to get your landing rate guesses and gentlemen and ladies. Uh, Colin, you're gonna have to change that one. Sorry, mate. Uh, Ronald's already on one twenty-three. What are we with six thousand? Yeah. Cool. All right. Beautiful. Uh, hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Uh, we've run out of fuel, and so we're going to be doing a glide descent here into Geneva. Things could get a bit hairy, so make sure you leave your seatbelts unfastened, that way you can exit the aircraft really quickly, mainly through the window as you're shoved at 300 miles an hour as a projectile through the window, so that's going to be a bit of a shocker, but anyway, apart from that we do thank you for flying with us here at British Airways operated by Kiwi Air. Uh, this will be the last flight for not only yourselves but also for for Kiwi Air ever operating operating a coach here with British Airways. They've already informed us over the uh, over the uh, radio that uh, it's just not going to happen again. So it's a bit, a bit of a shame, but we've enjoyed it. Uh, some of the paint's starting to peel off the plane too. Next time we will not be using Games Workshop spray spray cans to uh, put the liveries on there. So that's a good lesson for next time. But there won't be a next time because we're about to dive into the ground at. Probably about 1,700 nautical miles, uh, uh, miles per hour, I should say. 
So it should be pretty painless. Uh, apart from that, please make sure you put your stow your tray tables up. Put your seat backs upright. And once again, leave your seat belts unfastened. Okay, so stop for the landing rate. An alt dial in bottom altitude of cons. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. I forgot that you can do that and it will hold you, it will follow the constraints here. Yeah, nice. Thank you. Are you doing this flight in APL2? Uh, I always forget to put the spoilers and get ping for APL255, do you? <laughs> yeah, that can happen easily. All right. Okay, we're looking good. We're feeling great. 105 nautical miles to go. This flight I missed by beacon and landing lights. Stupid mistakes, but failures barely have an impact on my score. <laughs> yeah. You're ready there, mate? Nice. I see. 1409, I see over there. Nice work. Having to restart MFSS, MSFS. What a morning. Yes. It's been the morning of restarts, everybody. It's been a bit of an absolute Barry Crocker, to say the least. Even when I did an emergency descent and a flat three landing, I got 94 or so for some speeding, but that was it. <laughs> uh, Daryl was actually a helicopter guy. I did two years at regional flying at the 145, then Frontier. Sweet. Awesome, man. Awesome. That's because you're a professional Kiwi pilot. Exactly. Sometimes we follow procedures, usually just don't have time for those procedures are not they're just not helpful they just they hold you up too much well I've enjoyed this flight when we finally got flying it was great <laughs> gets fine yeah yeah in the 90s you're called a geek and you get your head shoved down the toilet all right, above 20,000 here, we're going to easily achieve that. So we're cruising along quite nicely. I eat flies is over there. Captain Wes is already there. Mayday, Alan, Wrath up ahead. Everything seems to be going well. Yeah, the Phoenix is a bloody great aircraft, I've got to say. I mean, the fly-by-wire is a bloody great aircraft, too. It is excellent. The, um, it's really starting to get some, um, some really, really good complex aircraft. And, uh, by the way, as I mentioned in Discord, for those that didn't see, I got my hands on a copy of the, um, the black box analog uh, ga gauges for uh, the Cessna Caravan. Uh, and it's not just a, it's definitely not just a visual upgrade at all it's basically adding a whole lot of functionality into the uh, into the cockpit so um, i need to spend some time i'll probably look to uh preview that next week on stream because uh, i'm awake obviously uh, tomorrow for a week back on friday so i'm not gonna have time to do much uh there's a woohoo thank you very much for whoever woohooed me is it going to come up it may or may not uh someone said just subscribe appreciate it thank you um so yeah we'll look to uh, sort that out Whenever you touch the gear handle, do the spoilers. So take off, disarm, after gear up, and gear down, then arm them. Nice, there you go. Beautiful. Do the nameplates not put me off? No, no, they're all good. Ah, oh, it's good. It feels like you've, you know, because we fly as a group, it's always good to see everyone else's names there, and we see the regular names there, and some newbies also, so no, I enjoy it. It's not a problem at all. So yeah, so the analog caravan's going to be cool. I'll run through that. I have a look on Discord for those exclamation mark Discord, by the way, um, and um, you can check out. I've got like the main features of the of that add-on there, the uh, analog caravan add-on. So it's definitely a quite involved. Well, oh, what am I getting? No, it's my control stick again. So yeah, that, that'll be cool. I'll look to probably stream that next weekend. Lost your ecam. I'm done with failures for now. Have to hand fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Dennis Helms has subscribed to the channel. Thank you very much, mate. I appreciate it. Welcome in. Remember, it costs nothing at all except just a little bit of self-respect to subscribe. And let's be honest, we've got a lot. We have got a lot of self-respect to give up. I've got none, obviously. I've got none. Neither is most other people that have been around for a while. But give some up. Why not? Exclamation mark Discord, by the way. Come and join us in Discord for some scintillating repartee. Uh, a lot of outstanding commentary to be see, seen in there. Some absolute bullshit too. I can't see your name tag. How do I turn it on? Just go into your general options. And uh, there's, I think it's under traffic. And go show name plates. Yes. Does the analog add-on change the flight model of the caravan or just the cockpit functionality? I haven't looked deep enough into it. I'm not too sure, mate. I've, um, I literally have only just had a quick breeze through the thingy. Through the, uh, the uh, main feature, so you'll have to check that out. I'll let you know. Ronald, fail both gens and fly on standby instruments down to cat one minimums. Yes, do that. <laughs> Give it a whirl. I'll encourage you. Right, okay, we are flying our star here at the moment, and so far so good. We've got a hit here at above uh, zero 08, sorry, 8,000 feet there. Flight level 08. I'm feeling good, looking great, on track. Seem to be going pretty good here. If we look at our perf here, let's see how we're looking. What's this mean, expedite 1420? It means uh, progress is the one I actually wanted to go. Ah, oh, look, here we go. Plus five, so that's good. We're not too high, not too low. We're a little bit high. Five feet impact. I've got it on, but I can't see it. Yeah, uh, there's just an issue with nameplates sometimes. Where is it? Just, I'm not too sure why. It just, yeah, sometimes it just doesn't love it at all. Yeah, you're at flight level one four. Yeah, I love the way Alan says. I love the way this plane nails the altitude. I'm at flight level one four five and bang on the path. And the FBW I'd be under ten thousand by now, so I wouldn't know any different. Yeah, forty not. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, no, it handles that part of it real well. All right, so far so good. I think uh, should be sweet. It's always high into Geneva. Uh, in real life, ADC keep you high and fast and then dive, dive, dive. That seems like a good bloody way to do it. I like it. That's how I usually um, fly anyway. Stay high and then dive, dive, dive. Seems like a bloody outstanding way to approach. So I'll be flying this plane myself tomorrow in real life. Not actually flying it, not unless something happens to the pilots. I'll certainly step up and help them out. There won't be a problem. Uh, flying the A320 across to uh, Australia. Exactly the same plane on the way back, in fact. So I'll be obviously providing some, um, some hints and tips for them. They'll appreciate it, I'm sure. Okay, how we're looking for... 46 out. Okay, we've put our arrival information in, so that's good. I think so far, so good. Here we go. Yeah, we always appreciate the helpful tips, yeah, I'm sure. Well, I mean, I'm wearing my Air New Zealand A320 shirt tomorrow. They'll love it. They'll love it. Uh, to New Zealand to Aussie, it's around about 
three and a half hours here or thereabouts to the east coast. Brett, how you doing? Good to see you. Just to say, mate, I'm heading over your way tomorrow. I'm actually going to your place, so actually you've got a, uh, a nice dinner waiting for me. That'd be good, thank you. Hope that's not going to be a problem. Late notice, I know. All right, boys. Uh, reduce our speed down to 250, so we're not going to break anything. Going to Aussie for, uh, with work, with work, mate. Yeah, for a conference for a week, so. Should be good. No doubt we'll pick up COVID again, so that'll be bloody emotional, to say the least. Dinner or lunch? Uh, it'll, be, it'll be dinner, actually. It'll be dinner by the time I get in there. Tea or coffee? Coffee, thank you. Be good. Um, Nespresso, of course. Official, unofficial sponsors. Probably about as much uh, you, uh, you appreciate mine. Ah, definitely. It's always good to have someone who actually knows what they're talking about. I don't. That's the charm of the stream, actually. No idea what I'm talking about. Absolutely no idea. All right. I tell what I do know, though. Oh, I don't know anything. I admit it. Oh, that's boys. Looking good. Okay, let's throw some uh, lights on just for an absolute laugh. Alright, lights are on. Okay, yeah, how are we looking for distance? 34. Don't need to do anything yet, really. I think we're looking good. Oh, I'll throw my uh, landing system button on now. Why not? Why not? We'll pump it into approach mode soon. It will grab it itself at some stage, but I'll do it. Uh, I'll carry that one. Uh, are you coming to Tadsy? Ah, no, I can't because... Um, because uh, on the questionnaire they said, are you comfortable marrying, marrying your relatives? And I said no, and so they said, I'm definitely not allowed in. So, yeah, it's no good. Just got my lights on at 9,100, bloody beer fridge. That's fine. Uh, you just got to have them on under 10,000. So you could actually put them on at 1,000 feet and you still won't get penalised. Daryl says, might want to input some landing data or to heck with it and auto brakes medium. No, I've put, uh, well, you mean like, I've put that in. What, what landing data are you talking about? Have I missed something here? I'm happy to... Uh, you're talking about performance data? I've already put it in. This, all this stuff here? Or land, oh, is there some landing data, is there? Or what have I missed? What have I missed? Let me know. Let me know! And then McDo, yeah, yeah. Have I... What did I miss? Can we have one more flight after this? How are we looking for time? Oh, it's a bit tight, but we might be able to. Lights on and oh, is it between those two? Is it? All oh, right. Should have asked a sec the second head. They would have said, "Sure, come on in." <laughs> <laughs> okay, where am I supposed to put landing data in, in here? Is it? I don't know. What what have I missed here, mate? Two thousand five hundred. Add two. Yep. Keep going. Throw it all in. Throw it in. I'm gonna have to uh, get into some uh, my approach mode soon. This is not on my checklist, by the way. It's not in there. Oh, okay, sweet. Whew. Okay, boys, um, how are we looking? 21, we're fine at this point. So let's go ahead and go... Uh, where are we? I've got to get these frickin' things on... These things... Add 
activate approach phase. Let's do it. So, uh, auto bait medium, uh, spoilers, let's arm them. Okay, we're good. It is good. Good, I'm glad I wasn't missing something there because it wasn't on my checklist, mate. I'm starting to worry, except I wasn't really worried. Just wing it. Absolutely wing it, boys. Flaps. Yes, we do it. I mean, between 15 and 20, I mean, how we're looking here, flight plan. Yeah, we'll do it right on the edge, but we'll throw not your flaps in. <laughs> no, you're good, mate. You're good. Okay. Look at this. This looks a little bit dodgy how close we are to these hills. I like it. Okay, so we're on the dot, green dot, feeling good, looking great. Let's wait for our um, landing system to come alive. We'll get ourselves on the localizer. Then we'll throw the approach mode on, and then we'll pray that we can actually do something. May or may not work. Good seat support, Daryl. <laughs> Love it. All right. Uh, the only disappointing thing is there's no Netflix on this uh, on this electronic flight bag. A bit disappointing. See, look, it's back up to 100%. So you plug, it, you unplug it, and the battery even goes down. That is cool. I like it. Okay. Good luck with the landing rate competition, everybody. <coughs> Wasn't sure what the box modelled. I thought it might be able to get its landing data. Ah, right. Nice. It's a minor detail. Not not required. We'll just, uh, if in doubt, risk it. That's what I always say. If in doubt, risk it, boys. Here we go. We've got our live. Let's throw the localizer on. I don't know if this is the order. This is the way I always do it. When that diamond starts moving down here, then I throw the localizer on. Once we're established on the center line, then I throw my approach mode on. Seems to work. So I could probably even put it on now, but I'm going to wait till the diamond's on the centre line. Boom. Is it going to go down? It is. Here we go. I get another notch on here. Oof. That was a little bit hairy in terms of speed there. Kind of feels a long way out to get my landing gear down. So let's just bleed off some speed here. Take a drink of whiskey here, everybody. I just about oversped there. I'm going to hold off. IRL arm approach, then autopilot one and two. Ah, right. You don't use localizer at all? I don't feel like I want to sit, throw my landing gear down. So. 11 out, right? Just kind of doesn't feel right yet. This low should be using speed select. Ah, right, okay, I'm with you. Flew a different route. Ah, oh, only if approved for localized, okay. What color pods are the whiskey Nespresso? Kind of a brownish. Okay, let's throw landing gear down now, boys. Still feels, yeah, it's probably okay, a little bit. Still feels early. I'm just going to run it at this flap configuration until we get a bit closer. It's night for me, so I can't see you. <laughs> Look for the big lights coming down. Yeah, it gets down real slow pretty quickly, eh? 
My nav radio broke, so I have to land visually at night in direct <laughs> uh, Flew a different route, but arrived about the same time. Nice. <laughs> Brown, is that what happened last week? <laughs> Mate, it was a mixture of colours, I can tell you that. Let's tell these turkeys up here that we're ready to land. Let's get into three. Flap three, everybody. Don't tell me your personal problems. Good rule of thumb over the Glidescope intercept or faff look to be around 190 flaps too, right? Yeah, so I was a little bit, a little bit slow, really, eh? I just let it manage it. Yeah, but you, I see what you're saying. You use the uh, manual, uh, the speed select. Yeah, I just let the aircraft sort it out. But uh, that makes sense. All good. Ah, oh, we're still in the air, so that's always a, a bonus. How we're looking for distance here? We'll go to full configuration. We're getting down and dirty, boys. Right, let's have a look here. Boom, 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 boom. Everyone's happy. Set the passengers, of course. <coughs> Too much info. <laughs> Look at this. Tell you what, boys. Then as you pass over drop gear, then go back speed management, you'll go to VAP V approach and be fully configured a thousand feet above ground level. Right, I'm with you. That makes sense. Hey, so when you disable the autopilot in the real aircraft, do you get the master warning that you've got to manually turn off? That's a question that we were um, debating yesterday or a couple of days ago in Discord. One thousand. I have control. Send me with the wind. Okay. Little bit low here, boys. Five hundred. Little bit high. I know. Right on now. Above. Yep. A little Minimum. bit low. Continue. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Retard. Twenty. Retard. Five. Oh, that was a bit heavy, boys. A little bit heavy. I thought I had to flare. You definitely got to flare a bit more. Reverse is engaged. Ah, I'm disappointed with that landing. Felt it right up in the cockpit, but. This is really a two-person job at this point. Okay. May day one. Get in there, boy. Get in there. Where's the parking? Is it over here? Oh, it's back over there. I'm going to park down here, boys. Oh, jeez, boys. Well, that was oh, a bit disappointed with that landing. Definitely need to flare a little bit more, I think. Kind of felt all right. Oh, 
Oh. All right. Oh well. Let's grab a ground services. Let's grab a GPU. Alright, so let's throw this over here. Let's have a look at the uh, who won? Who won? What was it? 319, right? Ugh. We're going to pick, someone have to go and pick the landing gear up. Um, 319 was, Joe was 3, Mayday was 360. Joe, so 316, so that's uh, 34, 44. 44 off and um, Joe was yeah it's Joe yeah he's 36 off yep well done Joe you get some self respect that's what you win bloody brilliant oh, it's saying I'm in taxi in mode still oh yeah this might help this should do the job okay post flight now alright team let's uh, let's go into our main motor here and let's go ahead and let's go ahead and submit our flight. This is going to be bad. Oh, I'm going to guess 86, maybe worse, because I think that landing might have, uh, might not be good. Don't forget, in the A320 at 50 feet, the plane leaves normal law and will slightly pitch down to induce the pilot to use aft stick. Ah, right. Okay. Good to know, good to know. All right, let's check out our um, let's check out our bloody results here, boys. I don't think it's gonna be good. But hey, that's how we do it. Oh, I consistently have terrible results, so it doesn't matter. Okay, let's check this out. Ninety eight! I told you it was gonna be good. Hey, hold on. How come it isn't showing it? Oh, so it doesn't go into your logbook, does it? Did it go into your guys' logbook? Dashboard, did it go in? That didn't show. Does it show somewhere else? I got some XP for it by the looks of it. But it's not showing in my logbook. Why not? That should definitely show, right? Is it here somewhere? Hey! What? Oh, look. Oh, it's saying it's for Qantas Link. Ah, right, but it's just for... Ah, that's how it works, right. Ah, right. Ah, okay. Sorry, I was looking at the Qantas Link and, re and thought, oh, that can't be right. But okay, it still says you're flying for Qantas Link. Okay. So the only thing it got me on was my landing rate at the end. Ha! <laughs> Told you it was going to be a good flight, everybody. You wouldn't believe me. I'm going to do another flight, lads, if you uh, want to stick around. I'm going to do one short flight in this aircraft. I'm going to fly from... Wellington to Auckland. It's one of my favourite flights. It's only a 40 minute odd flight, there or thereabouts. So uh, let's go into shop. Main menu over there. And I'm going to go to flight tickets. I'm going to go NZ uh, WN and uh, NZ AA. And I'm going to go ANZ, and we're going to go search. So you're saying look down here and you can find cheaper flights? No, they're all the same. It's going to be A320. We'll go 416, and we'll go purchase. Huh, we'll add it first, and we'll go purchase. So we'll go world map. Um, okay, that's great. So if I go into the flight, uh, we'll go to schedule. Uh, sorry, we go to uh, flight, and I'll go to sim brief dispatch, and we'll go to generate flight. We'll go yes. What time is it going to leave? Hopefully something like something decently timed. Otherwise, I'll just change it. Otherwise, I'll download this PDF and I'll put it into Discord. By the way. 
23, so 11 a.m. our time. Good, beautiful. Okay, so what I'll do is I will go into Discord. Let's throw this. I'll throw this into Discord for everybody. So let me go here and here and over here. Uh, have a look under live stream, uh, under the stream announcements, and I'll put it in there now. Boom, it's in there. So what I need to know is what is where are we departing? What runway? Thirty-four. Okay. NZW. I'm going to fly the Black Airbus today. What is going on here? Okay, yeah, it helps if I look at the right bit. This is... See, it is departure. It's good. Um, and it's going to be 11 a.m. What's the departure? The departure is uh, exactly 11. So let's go 10, 15, uh, 10, 40 something. There we go. Fly. Boom. All right. Ah, 95 for you. Nice. What did everyone else get? I could use a cider, but I don't think it goes with my low grade fever. <laughs> oh, you appreciate my tutorials. Thanks. Yeah, as you can see, you can have full confidence in my ability. What? Maybe not. Uh, 416, I think. Oh, I turned on Vetsim by mistake. Uh, so we'll go NZWN, uh, NZAA, and we'll go ANZ416, uh, I believe. It is indeed. All right, boys. Let's get rid of that. All right, welcome to Wellington, everybody. This here is actually flight beam scenery. I know a few of you have got it. Look at this. This is freaking good. This is good. This is the first time I've actually seen the scenery, by the way. I haven't had a chance to look at it. Yep, this is mega accurate. I have flown in and out of this airport many, many times. Let's have a look at the terminal. It's the ATR 72 parking right there. Let's get down the terminal. Have they got what they got in the terminal? Yes. Okay, this is good. Yep, they've got this the big Lord of the Rings. Uh, bird there, you've got Gandalf actually flying on top of it, sitting on top of it in the actual thing, and then you used to have Gollum here somewhere, I don't think they've got that modelled down here that's cool beautiful, I love it I love it looking good and welly nice beautiful alright team, let's jump into the aeroplane um, check out Discord if you want to uh, if you want all the info there Let's go ahead and turn our externals on. We'll turn our batteries on. We're going to go down here. Crew supply. Strobes can go on. Nav and logos. Seat belts. No smoking and emergency exit. Adairs. One, two, three. Thrown in there. And that's the quick version. All right, APU. One, two, three. Boom. -fa. Boom. All right, that's emotional, say the least. Let's go in here and throw this on. We'll import our flight plan. Uh, flight level 310 today, everybody. Uh, to NZAA. Uh, has that not... Uh, oops, I haven't put it up the top there. There we go. Sorry, buddy. There we go. Up the top there. All right. Ground serve mass imbalance. Let's go ahead and load the aircraft. We'll do it instantly because, you know. Hold on, this is exactly 60 and 31.2. It's exactly the same as before. Okay, oh well, it is what it is. Is that? Yep, no, that's different. Hold on, what's it say? Smoke, what's it say? Oh no. Okay, nine. Okay, uh, that's good. Um, let's go to init. Let's load up our init request here. In it request. I think I already did that. Yeah, you got a hundred, Alan did. <laughs> All right. 
A N Z four one six. There we go. Uh, three one zero. How about three one zero, Mace? Get your act together, boy. Uh, cost index today is going to be fifteen or five or something. Five. There we go. Okay. It's a line on ref. That's brilliant. Good work, everybody. Mainly to me, though. I'd like to congratulate myself. Uh, flight plan. Okay. NZWN. We're going to depart here on the Inets 5P Tango. I think I pronounced that correctly. 34. Oh, hold on. Yeah, this one. Uh, and Ruzel is the transition. Boom. Great. Let's insert that, everybody. Into Auckland, we're going to be landing on runway 05 right. Actually, it's only one run, runway there. We're looking at putting two in there. We're going to take the Davy 7B. Uh, 7B, 7 Bravo, with the Davy transition. No, it doesn't need it. Good. All right, it's emotional. Let's uh, go in here, boys, and let's, uh, let's look to do this. Let's look to put it onto plan mode. We depart out of the north, take a left turn, move up the North Island of New Zealand until hit Davy, then yep, then swing around and onto five right. Beautiful. No discons there. That's good. Let's throw this onto 31,000 feet. North odd, south even in New Zealand. That's how it works. Transition altitude should be 13,000 feet. Let's get into the... Uh, where are we here? Uh... Yep, okay, let's get onto our performance page here. No, 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 in at B. Okay, so it was 60, 31.2. There we go, boys. Okay, now we get back into our... Let's get back into our uh, thing right here, and we'll get our... Departure performance. It is dry. Runway 34 we're going to depart from. Let's sink our load sheet. Let's do one flap takeoff. Sink our live weather. Calculate this. It'll be 154 and 56 is my guess. 3140. Exactly. That's exactly what I thought it would be. What was it? 3140. Oh, so close. Uh, moving right along. 140. Uh, 140. Uh, transition now to 13,000 feet and we've got down 0254 put 54 here on our there and 1 bar 0 0.2 D in boom okay it's good boys what else do we need to do uh, we've got that all sorted okay Okay, so we've got our barrow set. Let's just do that. 31,000 feet on our FCU. Absolute, yep, dash, dash, that's good. Um, thrust levers is fine. Weather radar check off, that is good. Transponder to standby. In New Zealand, you are likely to get 5, 2, 3, 1. So something beginning with 5 in New Zealand for your transponder code. That's my personal opinion. I could be wrong. Uh, parking brake is set. Let's get it up. Shut this door because there's some, a lot of dodgy bloody New Zealanders around. No, mostly just screwing around. Uh, flying off a tuna boat out of Mexico when I would finish would call a buddy who worked for American Airlines who would give me a buddy pass. Sweet. Okay, while we're waiting for that uh, IRS, IRS to align. <laughs> Where are you friggin' way over there, bloody Alan? So in, in Wellington Airport here, you've got, this is where, this is the domestic arm right here. This is where the Air New Zealand planes... Uh, that's their gates. Over here is where you get the uh, regional planes. So in, for New Zealand, they've got a Dash 8 Q300 and an ATR 72, 72 500. Uh, over here, these gates on this side mostly are Jetstar, which is the competitor to Air New Zealand. You can sort of see Jetstar in here. And this is also the international terminal, these gates down here. 
So they'll fly to Aussie, basically. This is all pretty new, this hotel here. And this parking. It's very accurately modelled. And that's the uh, golf course, which is definitely there too. Is the terminal being modelled? Oh, it has been. You've already been in there. This is where you're coming through the top here. Should be Air New Zealand counters in here. Ah, uh, there's not. They are modelled over here. That's fine. Well, have they done? Have they modelled the Coro Club? Probably not. I'd say. Oh, they have. Kind of. Nice. So yeah, it's a great flight out of here. It gets very, very windy. Can get pretty dodgy. Why am I on top of you? I don't know. Seems a bit rude. Right, uh, we'll just wait for this IRS is going to align in one minute. Let's go ahead and turn our fuel pumps on. We'll turn our beacon on in anticipation. And we will throw our, uh, this in here. Just go ahead and uh, remove our chocks. Why don't we fire up the APU? Is it available? It is indeed. Boom. Signal power is off. Get rid of the GPU. One minute IRS. Beautiful. I love this airport. It's really well modeled. Because you love me. <laughs> Uh, I haven't got the Italian bundle, Colin. I've got New Zealand, I've got NZAA and NZWN though. So really, I do this flight fairly often actually, it's a good little one. Good little flight to do. <coughs> okay boys. Let's wait for that, it's come up. Alright, how about we think about taxing just for an absolute laugh. I'm going to connect the tug. <coughs> All right. Good luck, everybody. Good luck on your flight. Uh, uh, my flight is showing pre-flight on my APL, which is good. I might get another copy once we get up. This is very short time at cruise. Probably 10 minutes, 15 minutes at cruise, if that. Very short time. Okay, looks like we're all good to go here, boys. Let's turn off our... And let's go ahead and start our pushback. Have my parking brake come off. It has now. Ignition on. Let's see if we're going to get a spool up here, boys. You can start turning. It does indeed. Let's uh, back this thing around here just a little bit. Apparently the um, pushback tool conflicts with this, so that's why I've got it turned off. Which is a shame because I like pre-doing it and not having to do all this manual bloody. This is so cool, this airport. I love it. I love it. there but she'll be right straight back okay probably think about revving up our other engine pretty soon
go. We'll stop that. We'll disconnect. We'll throw our... Uh, Ronald's in the hawk. Spooling up our... Other engine. Looking good, boys. All right. It's looking good. Let's jump up here. We can turn our APU bleed off now. Turn our APU off. Let's put our taxi lights on. Wing lights can go on. Let's go ahead and start configuring. 0.2 down. Auto brake max. Flaps one. Spoilers up. Uh, armed, I should say. I think that kind of feels like everything. Terrain ND, that's. Uh, yep, off, off. Auto brake, yep. Flaps, ground, rudder, and alloy trim, pitch trim. Flight controls. Let's go ahead and do those. Back to neutral, it's good. 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 You guessed that it, it's good. Left. Solid. Solid. Okay, I think we're just about ready to go, boys. Let's just check our takeoff config now, just for a laugh. It's all good. Let's let the uh, attendants know that everything's fine and dandy, and we're about to take off, ladies and gentlemen. It was a bit of a quick, bloody. Uh, Holy shit, that Japan airport line looks quite big. It's going to normal, by the way. I'm just going to pretend that this aircraft isn't here, floating in mid-air. It's a bit uh, rainy in Auckland at the moment, if, as I look out my window, so hopefully it's like that when we get up there. It'll be kind of cool, going into some rainy. This is a pretty short runway too, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. So I'd recommend going right to the end, although you probably should be fine today. <coughs> Pushback was a bit messy. <laughs> I like the uh, lighting on the uh, on the on the taxiway and the aprons and all that sort of stuff. They look bloody good. Cozy Cole, bloody give way to me, mate. Jeez, watch out! Oh, you disappeared. That was solid. All right, everybody. We'll see you in Auckland. It's a really nice little flight, this one. I really like it. All right, let's do this, boys. Park up here. We'll throw our transponder on. We'll go up here and we'll turn these things on. They can go on. They can go on. We're looking good. Looking good, everybody. Yeah, this is a great airport. One of my favourites. It's really, really well modelled. for you boys let's just do a quick uh, Q and H it's good So when the uh, weather whips up a bit, you get people surfing over here, over uh, down this little bit down over here. K 
Cozy Coal. You good to go, mate? It's normal that there are no ATC players in FS. Um, well, you can go on Vatsim if you're going to do ATC. Oh, do you mean people who use the internal ATC? Yeah, if you want to use real people talking ATC, yeah, use Vatsim or IVAO, a, a couple, or Pilot Edge is another one. <coughs> but yeah, we generally don't use it. Gives us a bit more freedom. Why are you floating on the screen? I don't know. If you got your barrow set correctly, that happens from time to time. Okay, cozy coal is away. We'll do a bit of separation here. All right, boys. Good luck to me. These runway textures are so good. Alright. 100 knots. V1 rotate! Ooh, this is a bit bloody hairy, boys. Gear up! Spoilers. Disarmed. I'm just going to hand fly this for a second. And now we're going to let the plane fly it. Beautiful. So wait for the lever climb to come up. And then we'll jump outside. Here it is. It's emotional. Beautiful. Okay, as we depart out of uh, Wellington itself, here's the main CBD over here. Oriental Bay through here. You've got uh, the large uh, Te Papa Museum, which is uh, the National Museum, I suppose you could call it. This here is uh, Westpac Stadium. Oh, it's not called Westpac Stadium, it's called Sky Stadium now. It's where all the major sporting events happen. You've got the Beehive down over here, which is our parliamentary buildings. Wellington's actually the capital of New Zealand. Looking good here, boys. Go ahead and uh, go to my flight. Nice. Beautiful. Right along these hills here, you've got a whole lot of big windmills, wind generation farms and stuff. Power generation farms, I should say. Okay. What we'll do up here, we'll get out over the uh, west what's the next promotion how long until you get it Mace uh, next promotion senior first officer um, I've got a bit I think I've got something like I've still got a couple of thousand XP senior officer or whatever it's called why am I not getting to this what's happening here is it is it constraints on my speed or something right now why am I not getting up to my did my gear go up? Yeah. What's happening here, boys? Why am I not getting... Why is my speed not going up? Why am I stuck at 180? Is that a thing on here, is it? Oh, it is. Okay, that's weird because... My, my flaps should be up well and truly by now, shouldn't they? That's weird. Okay, I'm just going to wait and do what it's telling me to do. So once we hit this, we should then, speed restriction should come off. Yeah, maybe, yeah, it's probably a SID constraint, I would say. But I've, like, I've never known them to, but it's holding, like, I can't uh, retract my flaps until I get to S, right? Or is it, you can do it as long as it's under that, is that right? Or is, you've got to be at least at it? I read it as you've got to be at least at it. So we should see an arrow go up now and we should see... 
We should see uh, speed increase now. 250. Let's do it. Landing lights off. 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 Why is my speed not increasing? What am I missing here, boys? Did I accidentally put on? Autopilot's on. At S speed, yeah, at S speed, yeah, that's the way I read it. But look, it's not even, look, it's saying here, it should be, oh, it's still 180 through until there, is it? Okay, well, I'm just going to go with it. If that's what it's saying, that's what we're going to do. We see, my flaps are still there. But anyway, I'm just going to go with it because that's what it's telling me to do. But it doesn't feel right. I mean, I would expect them to be well and truly up by now. selected speed but yeah it's still saying 180 knots here see it's constraint anyway let's just go with that boys if you have flaps too at f you have to wait until s speed what's off on the overhead this should it be on i thought i had put it on we get past this waypoint I can um, yeah that, that doesn't seem right to me that does not seem right but it must be right okay retracting uh, import So which one did we take? We took the uh, uh, what was the name of the departure we took? Snip was it? Yeah, but it's max 180. Max 180 to AgSop. Where are we? Ogami, though? Ogami isn't restricted. Yeah, that looks like... What does this say here? I'm as restricted to max 180. No, it's saying there. AgSop. Max 180. But what about to Ogami? I don't know what the hell's going on there, boys, but yeah, it doesn't. Uh, I think I might have screwed that up a little bit, to be fair. Anyway, sucks to be me. Um, to see my actual plane and livery, you need to actually have that. You need to have that plane and that livery to be able to see it, Wes. So you'd need to have the Phoenix A320 with the New Zealand livery. Airbus logic is totally alien to normal aviation. Too many French involved in the evolution. <laughs> I think... Yeah, I think I can do this now. Right. Yep. Yeah. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't overspeed me. Why? What's going on? Oh, well, my fucking slats are still in. What's going on? My flaps, boys. From pressure button, what's going on there, boys? What an absolute bloody idiot. Okay, something's going to hit. No, no, we're good. Relax. How do I stop when you're playing floating? You press B. Like, I think it's because your Q and H is set differently. So you press B. If you're on live weather, it should then put it on the ground. Flaps all down. Yeah, mate. I don't know why that happened. What a shocker. Oh well. That's what happens when you're an absolute bloody winner. Anyway, look how close the uh, look how close this is. <laughs> Oh shit, that's going way past there, boys. 
all right. It's just getting up to speed and then it will uh, it'll come back. Or different scenery, yes, that's a good point actually, Ronald, good point. throw the approach in here uh, let's uh, five, uh, five right. okay there we go we've got the top of climb coming back at us beautiful okay oh my god boys that was a bit of a shocker boys Okay, while this thing's getting up to its cruise altitude, which will only be out for 10 minutes, I'm going to go and refill my coffee, everybody, so relax, go for a toilet, do whatever you need to do, back soon. Bloody hell, it's freezing here today, boys. It's only playing the freeze. freeze. <laughs> there we go, yeah, exclamation mark Discord. Throw that in there.
All right, we better throw our destination data in here, ladies and gentlemen. N Z A A Send. Is that working? The exclamation mark Discord? It's not coming up. Why is that not working? You gotta throw a link in here. Yeah, I'm running. Uh, Streamlabs should be running, so. No, it's definitely working. I don't know what's happening there, boys. Anyway, uh, return. Return. Uh, weather. No, hold on. Start that again, boys. There, weather data. Okay, uh, zero seven zero at zero zero seven at thirteen. Uh, one zero two seven. Uh, temperature is fourteen. Two fifteen. Two fifteen here will do. Boom. Oh well, that looks good to me. All right. Uh, so, uh, where do we want to get down to? Down to three thousand. Are we at? Cruise altitude, we are indeed. So let's throw this right down to 3000 now while we're thinking about it. Get well set up early. Beautiful. I'm just gonna, I'm just logging into stream elements here just to make sure that it's. Might have bounced it before when everything crashed. Let's try it again. Uh, let's try that again. Yeah, I did activate the approach, mate. I don't know why that happened. Discord, uh, yeah, everything here, the command is uh, definitely, there we go, it's working. It is now working, everybody. Apologies for that, not sure why it was not working before there, boys. Alright, how are we looking here, boys? Not too far away. Uh, get a nice view outside our right hand window here. In fact, out the left, we might be going over very close to Mount Taranaki, I would imagine. How are we looking here? Ah, oh, it's, it's well back there, in fact. It's well back. What is it? the variants yeah <laughs> no, I definitely had it on um, I definitely had it on approach because I actually I manually I manually um, selected it 
So, yeah, I'm not too sure what the hell's going on there, boys. Oh, no, back here. Uh, what did I want to look at? Uh, oh, yeah, this. It's kind of navigraph. Down here. Oh, there we go. Yeah. We're actually quite a well, a lot further inland there, so I thought it was weird. A little bit further inland than we usually would find this. Getting an escort there is always good. Absolutely tremendous, I tell you what. Absolutely brilliant. Well done to myself there. Okay, what's happening here? Oh, yep, beautiful. Wes, I see your photo in there. I'll give the big thumbs up in your easy jet. Nice. Oh, yes. Lovely. 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 In short, lovely. Now ah, the moon's out, it's good. Look at this. I've been spinning on the window. It's a bit of a problem. We're getting very pretty close to a top of descent. It's a very short cruise. I'm getting a good escort right here. So much cargo. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I do like the interior of this uh, of the New Zealand. They've done it well here because you get the um, that sort of purpley. This is what it looks like on board too. They've got these purple sort of LEDs. It looks cool. And then they change colour like depending on um, uh, depending on what stage of flight. So when you come into land and stuff, they dim it all down. It's kind of cool. This is not purple though, so I'm not sure what that's all about. But anyway, my seat for the flight to Australia is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This seat right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh. Ooh, it's a nice leather seat. Happy with that. Getting strong crosswinds. Yeah, definitely. Real good ones. Uh, 787 is sky ceiling too. Yeah, it does. coffee everybody beautiful oh well we finally got the stream off in the end didn't we everybody it was a bit of a bloody shocker to start but we finally got there Always sit at the back on the commercial flight, they never reverse into mountains. <laughs> Why are you going to Oz work or just to take the piss? Both are perfectly justified. <laughs> no, going for work. Got a conference on. <laughs> Got a conference, so jumping over there to the GC, Gold Coast. What, what's this? Oh, that flight control bullshit. How's the, how are we looking for passenger comfort right here? 24 degrees up here. Seems pretty warm to me. Outside, minus 45. Seems pretty bloody cold, to be fair. Just make sure, uh, yep, the pilot's life is tracking me. 
Bloody good. Still got my uh, escort. It's starting to get a bit cloudy here. Hopefully they've modelled the bloody uh, weather. Did it say there was rain on that weather report? Mm, doesn't say. There definitely is, I can tell you. Yep, not looking good out there, I can see. Very a bit wet. Conference equals whisk equals rib fracture. <laughs> no strength for a few weeks, guys. <laughs> Uh, it depends where I do my the worm. As long as I don't do it on a polished concrete floor, it's usually pretty bloody good, to be fair. What's this button? Okay. <laughs> so Davy's a pretty straightforward approach here. Above six thousand. Oh, sorry, above eight max two eighty in here. Above six, above four, above three. Perfect. Last week I flew the A three twenty and TNC QN says Ronald. I took that R N P approach. R N P approach. Not realising it was only for class AB. Had 60 knots crosswind on final turn. It was sketchy. <laughs> yep. Particularly in Queenstown with those bloody mountains surrounding you. Beautiful. Okay. Should be sweet as kinners, everybody. Our first constraint is plus eight, two, 280 knots. Yeah, that Queenstown approach is sketchy in the best of times, let alone in uh, massive crosswinds. It cancels repetitive emergency tones. Ah, right. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you. Talking about that button. The red button. Don't push a red button. Okay, we're just about top of descent here, boys. But how can you land at NZAA? You need to divert to NZKW. <laughs> no, I got to for a pilot's life, otherwise I would. Oh, we've got a woohoo. That will come through soon, I imagine, on our uh, stream, our bloody uh, notifications. How can I see in nautical miles how far away my top of descent is? It's not in line with a. Um, it's not in line with a, uh, a bloody thing, a uh, a nav marker of any description. Getting pretty close, right? Probably close enough now, I reckon. Let's descend. Is there any easy way of saying we, I mean, it says here, but look, that's not going down. Two for two, no, 40, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, we're descending now, boys. I'm still on, mate. Chris, how you doing? Well, we did have about five false starts, so you know. Thought I'd put in the put in the bloody hard yards. Be 
just crawled out of bed. What's the time over there? Seven o'clock. Just a final descent here, oh, into descent on our uh, thingy into Auckland. Talk mate, says Ronald, into NZKW and the NZA. I can't mate, I'll stuff up my my NZ my pilot's life. Well, as good as I can be after. After what's that mean? Surgery, did you? Is that surgery? Or did you get the snip? So theoretically you can start your approach early. If it's modelled correctly you will get a thousand RPM until you approach the flight path you need to be on. Okay. FPM I'm... I think you mean, do you? I should totally divert. I'd like to nominate Ed Darrow as Senior Training Captain Airbus for Kiwi Air. He can liaise with Captain Safety and produce training manuals. Just don't involve Ronald. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snip, mate. Oh, Jesus. Hardcore. Are you saying APL2 is more important than Kiwi Air? Mm. Oh, it's, uh. Well, now that we're not getting the millions of bloody sponsorship money, yeah? you got to talk to Alan about that. It's really Alan's fault. I think that's probably what I'm saying. So the old snippy snip snip Chris, eh? Bloody hell, boy. Bloody hell. That's interesting. Vova Zabras Zabraski subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Remember, it costs nothing at all except just a little bit of self-respect to subscribe. We're willing to give up some of that. Uh, we lost three hundred thousand New Zealand dollars, eighty-seven p, waiting for the stream to start. <laughs> Someone should go block all the runways at NZAA so Mace has to divert. Now you can go clubbing without fear of guilt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you always get good advice on this channel there's no doubt about it I should start to appear on this little map here pretty soon I'd imagine okay so far so good ladies and gentlemen just fear of the wife <laughs> that should be enough for you Uh, we should move our statue so it interferes with the star. <laughs> yes. Did it hurt? <laughs> yes, it did, said Chris. So it does. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why you're going to get to do that, mate, to yourself. Jeez. Am I showing on this map yet? No. Should be, though, should I not? Oh, maybe not quite yet. Alright. Uh. Is it going to be rainy down in Auckland here? Uh, the pain is proportional to size. The smaller it is, the more pain. <laughs> oh, left control. Go away. Three kids running around. Is enough? <laughs> yep. That's a good call. Cool. Oh, here I am. I'm appeared on this, the map down here. 
Yeah, it's good. All right, let's bang this up to 40. 8,280, it's good. Rather than a star, Kiwi Airport has a turn left at the bell end. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, that's an absolute pleasure. Looking like it's going to be too rainy down in here. A bit disappointing. Well, we've got a little way to go, though. Especially when they want to jump on your lap right now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's good. That is good. Well, Zick, how you doing? Welcome in. Good to see you. Raining here in Whangarei at the moment. Yeah, same. Just down the road a bit. Uh, the kids have been good. It's been nine-month-old golden retriever puppy that's been to issue. <laughs> Alan says, the snip is just lazy and excuse not to regularly wash the sheets. <laughs> oh, this bloody stream is descending into absolute chaos. <laughs> Nick says, a nine-month-old retrievers have a homing device and their nose is aimed at men's balls anyway. <laughs> I don't know the heck, what the heck's going on with your dogs over there, boys. Oh, I'm getting this graphical glitch I get from time to time. See, it starts to get screen tearing. Can you see that on there? That happens from time to time. All right. Just about to hit Davey. Give him a good smack around the ears, old Davy boy. Ron's still roaming around like an absolute madman there. And his hawk. Nice quick little fight, this one. Arriving so fast, mate. You're not mucking around at all, boys. Shortest flight I've ever done. <laughs> Set your CI to 100. All oh, right, yeah, <laughs> that's how he did it. <laughs> Cost index to 100. That's a uh, that's a good plan. I don't know why the screen tearing comes up after a while. I wonder what that's all about. Oh well. CI is your friend if you have an appointment. Yep. <laughs> Before having the snip, I found myself in a very compromising position with a very large lady one evening. She asked if I was taking precautions, I replied, yes, I've tied my feet to the bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god.
Okay. Through that bloody thing. Hold on. All right. Time to get bloody funky here, boys. Kiwi, before you get off, can I add you on here? Yeah, just you, just, you don't need me to, uh, you can just do it. Just Kiwi May 77, just go into thingy and just add me. Easy easy as that. Or if it's, I oh, go home and get me. Bought the Honda Jet about a month ago today, it was the first flight. And? What's the go? What's the go? Three APUs. Jeez. <laughs> you saw code in the cat number. <laughs> Thanks, Alan. Alan looks after our finances. He he knows what's going on. Very trustworthy. Been working hard on that deal for nearly two years now. It's been making very good progress. Well, at least the restraining orders have um, eased up. The number of restraining orders have eased up somewhat, so that's been that's been a positive. Okay, we're about to head down into this fluffy stuff here. Not too sure what it's called. Okay, let's, uh, landing lights can go on. Let's turn every bloody light on. Okay. What I need to know though is how far have we got to go? 30 something? 33. Emotional. I sent it. <laughs> there we go. He wants to be my friend. Declined. Yeah, I'll do it once I jump back into the main menu. I don't think I can do it from here, mate. Okay, landing lights is good. Altimeter is being set. Might as well throw a landing. System on. Yeah, it's a very, very nice little approach here. It's very easy. Yeah, I've got this bloody visual bug. See how those? Yeah, there's something cocks out on this. It's annoying. Whoa, Jesus! Bee feeder, you're in. You're hired. You are hired. Exactly the kind of behaviour we want to see at Kiwi Air. Perfect. Camp safety. Better be happy with that. You can. You can just have to go into the pause menu, so not ideal on stream. Oh, do you? Okay. I'm with you. Okay. How are we looking here? 27. So far, so good. I suppose we can, uh, well, we won't do that stuff yet. Yeah, look at that graphical. See how those those name tags kind of move like that? Yeah, that happens from time to time. I don't know what the hell's going on. We might get some rain yet, boys. We may get some rain. You just never know. This is one of my favourite approaches in the sim. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I take it beef eater isn't actually an airliner. You never know, it could just be nice and uh, agile. Uh, yep. This here would be the go, I think. Six eight. Let's get a bit cloudy here, boys. Let's just activate it now, eh? Man, 
manage green dot that's us looking good all right everything seems to be lining up quite nicely here team oh landing rate yes quickly landing rate comp get in there you haven't got much time so get your guesses in landing rate competition this is for personal pride once again a bit of self-respect we all need it going the other way uh, into 23 yeah look at this they're a bit higher the guesses this time boys Yeah, it's not quite accurate, the weather. No, it's definitely really strongly, like, fully overcast with rain. Uh, Ten seconds. Lord, how you doing? Good to see you. It's been a while. Yeah, the Dutch loons. <laughs> yeah, absolute loons. What do you got, Chris? What have you put? 95, mate, you're a bloody... You know it. Okay, there we go. Landing rate done. Oh. That's oh, looking a bit uh, gloomier. Touch gloomy. Now it's starting to look a bit more like what we're actually experiencing here in Auckland. Assumed I'd missed the lot. Happened to see you were still going. Yeah, we had a few issues starting up, so it's running a bit late. We got there in the end, though. And that's all that counts. Okay. Landing gear down. Just for a laugh. Oh, that kind of extended a little bit too. Maybe a little bit early. Just started. You mean running at a more reasonable hour? Yes, mate. Yeah, for you, for sure. Seems to be holding it a better, um, a better speed. I think. Camp safety. Camp safety is not about safety. It's NZ, yeah, oh no, that's Ardmore over there. NZKW is just over here somewhere. We're full. Spoilers. Okay, well, I'm just for a laugh. Auto brake, medium. I think we're good. Be 
There goes Kiwi Airfield over there, boys. Now I kind of feel like we, we set up quite early on this approach. Just look out for the giant... <laughs> Yeah, the giant uh, tree. Do you think the fly-by-wire A320 is better or Phoenix? Phoenix is definitely better, but the fly-by-wire is still a bloody fantastic aircraft. Just a bit more comprehensive is the uh, the fly-by-wire. So, ah, sorry, the uh, Phoenix, a bit more detailed. Don't tell me your personal problems. No, this definitely is not rev although maybe on this side of Auckland, I'm I'm, I'm about uh, oh, about 35 k's, maybe 40 k's away from the airport, so it might be quite different actually. You never know. Could be different. Well, he turns, uh, Daryl and turns are setting up a little bit early, eh? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, oh well. Alright. I have control, which uh, we should all be very, very scared of. A little bit low here, boys. It's fine. Above. It's fine. Just relax. Minimum. I'm going to continue. There's another flight beam here, boy, by the way. It's bloody brilliant. I'm a little bit high here, boys. 100. 50, 40, 30, 20. Retard. Yep, that's me. Oh, now I've, now I've floated. Floated big time. Let's do a... Uh, I have... Let's do extended landing here, boys. 287. Jesus, mace. Five. wonder what that second landing was. Bloody hell, that was... Uh, that was a little bit sketchy, boys. A little bit sketchy on that one, I'm afraid. Anyway. Some passengers are. Hey, Beefeater, how you doing? Um, some passengers are feeling a bit bloody, uh, a bit ill, but that's fine. They'll get over it. Thanks for joining in, Beefeater, for the aerobatic display. Most appreciated. It was safer flying than uh, my flying, actually, so that's always a bonus. Alan uses. Alan wins, does he? You lose even more. I don't even think he's got any. Pretty sure he has none whatsoever. Go ahead though guys and uh did I not turn that on? I did. Go ahead and turn our this off. Been flying with you mate. Yeah no, yeah, no, I saw ya. Saw ya. We're just commenting on your aerobatic skills and how it's safer than my normal flying. Almost in a deficit. <laughs> Can't lose what I don't have. <laughs> Oh, yes. Beautiful. Well, that is absolutely tremendous. A lot of fun, that one. Let's go ahead and go like this. Let's go like this. Let's toggle on that jetway. Grab a GPU, chocks and cones. 
we'll jump upstairs, grab our GPU, turn all these things off, turn off our engines. We'll just turn everything off, who cares. Self-respect isn't why we're here. That should be self-evident, exactly. <laughs> Alan's been following me for so long that his self-respect left a long time ago. Exactly. Yeah, this is uh, Flight Beam Auckland. Once again, another really bloody fantastic airport. I love this one. Here we go, let's take a... Right, let's check out how we're looking in our bloody flight here, boys. Okay, I'm going to submit my flight. Let me jump across here to my uh, thingy. Are you sure you want to submit the flight? Yes. Uh, let's have a look here. Mm, second monitor. All right, it's just submitting. All right, let's check out. See how we went here, boys. Let's see how we went. Ninety-two for me, boys. What did I do wrong there? Ninety-two. Okay, so flaps up. <laughs> so it got me on that flaps. What do you craft told me not to? Do? I lost four on that. Landing rate. Way too heavy. So it counted one of my three landings there. And landing G-force was two. <laughs> oh my god, what an absolute shocker, boys. Anyway, what do you come to expect? Let's be honest. So here I am, two nine six three. I'm away to uh, senior first officer. Got a little way to go. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the stream for today. A lot of fun. I enjoy flying the bloody A320. I've got to admit it. The Phoenix. We might do another one again next time, perhaps. Maybe a GI, a GA flight. I mean, and an and a A320. Mix it up. Uh, but yeah, get into this. Is flight bling this one too? Same as the airport down in Wellington. The same designers. They've done a bloody good job. There we go, boys. Oh, hold on, I'm, I didn't have it on the right thing. Sort your life out, mate. Sort your bloody life out. Oh, it's not letting me. It's not letting me sort my life out. Here we go. Here we go. Now life's been sorted. Thanks for jumping in, everybody. Good to see you. Daryl, great to meet you. Thanks for jumping in. Good to see everybody. Thanks, Alan, for the three million New Zealand dollar donation. Inflation's pretty high, so I can buy like a donut for that, which is well worth it. Better start twelve dollars early next time. Yeah, yeah. Join the stream forty minutes in, yeah, and then I'll be just about ready to take off. But yeah, anyway, I'll get us sort out that uh, Heathrow airport. Obviously, there's a few issues with that. I'll get that sorted because it is actually it does really look really bloody good actually. But uh, thanks to everybody for coming in. How did my Perth flights go? I've just done one so far, Chris. Went all good, though. Went all good. But uh, anyway, we'll uh, see you next weekend, everybody. Same bat time, same bat channel, most likely. Uh, and hopefully we'll even start uh, on time. But don't bank on it. Anyway, as always, shut up. Don't eat yellow snow. Until next time, everybody. Take it easy.